Hey everyone, this is Donald Larry Pentless with an episode of Life of an Inventory Auditor. It's been a while since I've done one of these episodes. And once again, I'll be talking about the RM2 because um, yesterday was really my first opportunity to use the 10 key on the um, RM2. Now, I, the first time I had a chance to use the the king function was one that I, I don't really count. It was Rexford Motorsports a couple months ago or a few months ago, either way. And I don't really count that because it was an unusual situation. The UPCs used by Rexford Motorsports are um, alphanumeric, which means a combination of letters and numbers, which is not a situation that you encounter a lot as an auditor with Regis or any other company, I don't think. At least I think not. Anyways, yesterday we got done with the um, soft lines in the Cal Ranch in Pocatello. So some of us were moved over to the hard lines, which meant, you know, I got to use the two inner quantities for a while. And overall, and this is speculation on my part, the design, I've talked about the design before in this series, but the way it is designed, it was probably the, a compromise between ease of use and functionality because unlike the RM1s, which is thicker, has you know, kind of an hourglass shape with a middle part that was, is a little narrower that you can grasp. The RM2 is a lot skinnier and fits easier in the hand, as I probably said before. As a result, they've made the buttons smaller than on the RM1s or on the old audits, which is a little bit to get used to. And they, on the RM2, uh, RM1, sorry, they had a key, the K key, which you could do chain, um, you know, addition on it. You know, it's like 3 plus, 3K, 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 so it, you know, build up to 9, 10, you know, however what the number is. And the where they have it placed, it's like, it's on right beside the the zero key. It's, a lot, it's like the regular size key for the RM2, and it's a its position is just a little awkward. Um, like I've said before, this design people can get used to it. In fact, it was fairly you know other than Fat King, you know, hitting two buttons at one time with my big well I don't know whether really all that big, but with my fingers and I had, I had to um, take out some entries because I did hit two buttons at the same time or would hit the three button instead of the the chain multiplication you know the K, basically K key and so you know but like I said it was a lot easier to hold it in my hand so I can kind of keep an eye on the keypad and you know, put the buttons in more, you know, push the buttons a little more rapidly. And because, like I said, it's, it's narrower than the RM1. It, it was fairly comfortable in my hand to use it, use it as the inbuilt laser instead of having it hooked to belt and using the wireless finger laser. Like I said, it, it was easier just to hold it in one hand and manipulate the product and key, uh, key with my right hand, um, which is one of the things I actually like about the RM2. Now, I'm not being paid to say any good things about the RM2. Um, you know, if it suck, I, I wouldn't, on, you know, even if they did pay me, I wouldn't lie about something like that because, well, I mean, I have no subscribers, basically. I have, I have 15. And I, I'm glad to have those. I'd like to have more. Who wouldn't? But I do appreciate the subscribers I have. And 
I'm wondering what I could do to, to get more. But anyways, back to the arm too. Um, you know, well, it was kind of bad because the very first areas I got put in was the the dog food aisle in Cal Ranch. And, you know, dog food comes in like 20-pound bags. So I had to lift up these 20-pound bags to find the barcode underneath, which was a bit of a pain. But, you know, it's something I've done before. Um, eventually I got to can dog food, which comes in cases, and, you know, was able to experience, like, like I said, multiple chain um, additions within the first few sections and then I did another row and well this is close to the end of the store so I didn't do many areas areas in hard lines but it was I did a few enough to sort of get more of a feel for how well the RM2 works and as someone who's gone from the audit the um, I think I used the iCal with um, WIS. I can't remember which model they actually used, but I think it was something like an iCal or something like that. But the RM2, um, you know, I've never used WIS's machine, so I wouldn't be able to tell you anything about that. But the way it looks, I've seen pictures of it online, and it doesn't seem like it's. Um, a very good like 10 key like for that you know entry of multiples of multiple quantities and so forth and it seems to be something that you would use with one hand instead of using your fingers you would just use your thumb to press like the numeric keys i don't know like i guess i've never used it um there was somebody who used to work for WIS who currently works for i can't remember who it is but if I remember who it is and I can talk to them a little bit, maybe they can give me some insight into how the wizard works. But anyways, I'm kind of going on and on and on, saying the same thing. I'm starting to repeat, repeat myself a bit. But I don't know if I'm going to do any more about the arm one. I definitely want to do something about the asset levels within Regis. Um, I, I want to do all kinds of stuff with this series. I wanted to do comedy profile, like I've said before. Um, you know, it's a lot of the problem I have is that it's finding accurate information about these companies. Um, the, you know, I could easily do one, write a script for Regis because they do have quite a bit of information on their website. Um, there's someone that actually takes quite a bit of a pride in their history and for good reason because they've been an industry leader since the 1950s um, but anyways I'm going to draw this to a close here thank you for watching this video if you like give it a thumbs up if you have any questions any comments leave them in the comment section below because I really want to hear from people who work in the industry I want to hear what people, other workers think. I've been reading some other blogs, and there are some mixed reviews on online about the RM2. And don't forget to subscribe for more of Life of an Inventory Auditor and more rent Repentless content. This is Donald the Repentless, signing off. Mm -hmm.